I'm Alex Kindle, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Sociology in the Media Lab here at Sciences Po. I work on the history and practice of social measurement. Social measurement is the process of attaching numbers to social processes and phenomena. Uh, so I work on both uh, how we do this in practice and the techniques and uh, technologies that we use to assign numbers to processes that happen in the social world. And I also work on the history of this process, so how we've done it in the past and how we've discovered problems with the way that we've done it in the past. So I received my PhD in sociology from Princeton University in 2023. And at Princeton, I wrote my dissertation on the measurement of prestige in American sociology. And before that, I received my BS in symbolic systems from Stanford University in 2014, where I studied educational technology. Uh, I'm quite interested in both the technical and the historical aspects of, of technology, and that's part of why I got interested in social science in the first place. So in the dual degree on technology and global affairs, I'll be teaching a first semester uh, core course uh, titled Fundamentals of Technology. Uh, and this is a really exciting class that is going to tell you all about the, uh, the sort of different theoretical frameworks that social scientists use to think about technology. And it's also going to be a sort of uh, a broad introduction to some core technologies that uh, will recur in any field of technology that you're interested in studying. Uh, of course, we're going to be doing a deep dive into some of the theoretical frameworks that social scientists use to understand technology and its impacts. And in addition to that, we'll be learning a lot about some core technologies that recur across many different domains of technology and social life. Um, so things like the measurement of time and space. Of course, we live in a digital era, so we'll have to talk quite a bit about computing and networking. And we'll also talk a little bit about uh, the sort of gaps and failures in technologies and where technologies uh, can uh, sometimes go awry. So uh, one, one really interesting thing that we'll have an opportunity to talk quite a bit about is uh, the current um, sort of explosion of development in artificial intelligence and machine learning. Um, we'll, we'll talk both about what sort of what's happening now as well as some of the historical roots of the current sort of AI boom in the historical development of statistics and probability. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll work quite a bit on trying to sort of understanding the connections between those things, as well as what AI makes different and uh, sort of what is, um, what's, what's fundamentally new about the, the current technological moment that we're in. So I'm particularly excited about this course because it's, a, it's going to be a seminar course, which involves um, some intensive reading and some intensive discussion amongst all of us. Um, where we can sort of work through uh, some of the things that we found challenging about the readings as well as the things that uh, maybe we know that we can bring to the class and share with each other. Um, so I really like a class that uh, has a lot of opportunities for us to get to know each other and for us to discuss. Um, and I'm really excited uh, to, for this course because I think we're gonna have a lot of time to really get into sort of these nitty gritty um, and often at times confusing issues. So another really exciting thing about this course is that we're not assuming that you know anything about the technologies that we're talking about. If you have some background in this stuff, that's great, but we won't assume that you do, and uh, you'll in fact have the opportunity to learn a lot of the technical details of some of these, uh, again, some of these common recurring technological systems that we interface with on a daily basis. Um, for example, we'll talk a little bit about the history of the metric system and how that came to be, um, actually, and how it came to be here in Paris.